guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing um, this and make a book right here. Also, I'm going to be um, reviewing and kind of doing like a talk that we're showing you guys or letting you guys know how I like the products um, and some of the products I have used and then some of them are going to be new. So um, yeah, if you want to see how I got this and make a look, then just keep on watching. We're going to be starting with a tape. I'm just going to be using regular scuffle. Um, going in with the next above and Crazy a little but I mean and that's not a big deal because every time I use concealer it creases so alright so then after that I'm gonna be taking in the elf perfect finish HD powder and I'm just gonna be taking the elf blush blush taking the elf blush brush so Set my and with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Palette, and I'm gonna go in with. Probably like the middle, the middle shade, or it makes him makes this two together. So. I'm gonna taking the Wet n Wild concealer. Brush. I just feel like 
like you have more control of powder. I don't know. Cream contour just it seems too messy for me, so I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna go back in with my Carla palette and just take the little um the little palette inside, which looks like this. And then the inside, oh it looks like this. I'm going to be taking in this shade right here. To set that cream contour. Contour is very, like the powder is very light. It's not very intense, but so far I like it. I mean, it's more like an everyday bronzer so, but I really like it so far with this the same elf um, HD powder just to Just to clean up my contour, and I'm going to go in with this sponge from eBay. And we're just going to clean it up with. We're just going to let that sit there for a couple of minutes while we do our blush and highlight and stuff. So I'm just going to go back in with the same little Charlotte palette and go in with the blush and highlight in there so for the blush i'm going to be grabbing these these this palette this palette this uh brush by Kala. it says it's a highlighter brush but it's, i use it for um for uh blush so and they're very oh, they're very powdery It's very pretty. I like it. It's not very... I feel like you can either build it up or just leave it how it is, but... I really like it. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. yep. So I'm just going to go with this brush and just blend that out. And then I'm going to go in with the highlighter in here. And I'm going to be grabbing the e.l.f. fan brush to add the concealer. Check. To add the highlight, what did I say concealer? Let's see how intense. It's very pretty. I feel like you can build it up as well, or just, it's very subtle, but you can definitely build it up, so, that's exactly what I'm doing. shade that we use which is this one right here taking these this elf 
crease for um so this shadow in the inner corner. And I'm gonna be grabbing the um, mascara yeah. lash paint mascara. Separates my lashes really good, so I really like this mascara. For our brown low shade, I'm gonna be taking this shade or right here. Hmm. Um, the canvas shade that we use to set the concealer. Here. So that's gonna that's what I'm doing. That's what I, that's what I'm going to be applying to my brown bone. lip paint and it doesn't have a shade but it's like this really like a pink brown and nude i don't know if you can see but it's a very all right so that is the end um i'm done with everything i'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of other things so for so far for this eyeshadow palette and with everything inside um it's very good everything works fine the eyeshadows are very um pigmented like super pigmented um i don't think oh yeah i've tried um some of the tartlet tartlet tart eyeshadows so i really like them they're very pigmented I like how it has like a bunch of mattes and shimmers it's not just shimmers or mattes it has a all oh, it has like shimmers and mattes like i said and then i like how the i like this little palette it works fine um the contour is like a very the lightly palette the blush is very pretty the highlight is not as intense but you can build it up it's not that big of a deal and so is the contour um the contour shade also you can also build it up or leave it how it is um for the lip gloss and mascara in here um i'm super impressed i like them the color is very pretty the mascara i mean i feel like it's nothing i mean it does separate my lashes and everything really good but, I mean, there's other mascaras that do the same thing, but, I mean, it's really good. The brush also, I mean, it blends out really good. It's like any other brush. Um, no, I have used this, but this is amazing. Like, I love it. I will repurchase it. Um, 
so it works really good. And then the e.l.f. blemish control primer. I mean, I can't give you a review now because it is my first time using it. But um, the foundation went on really smooth. And I mean, I can't really give you a full on review because it is my first time using it. So yeah. And then for the Clinique moisturizer or dramatically different moisturizer, whatever lotion, um, it is a really good. A my usually when I apply foundation, my face feels a little bit dry, but right now it feels really good. Like I can actually move my face and stuff. So I mean, I really like it so far. And then for the Moon Dust palette, um, this like I said, I've tried. Uh, I did film a video, but I did not like how like the footage came out. But I mean, the eyeshadows are super, super pigmented. Um, they're not like I don't know, like the Wet and Wild ones. I tried the little single eyeshadows, but like they're single glitter eyeshadows, but those are really bad. But these ones are really good. Um, what else? Oh, the concealers. Concealers are also really good. I've tried this one once and I really liked it. So obviously I like it. <laughs> and then the NYX above and beyond the full coverage concealer. I feel like it's a little bit white, but it works just fine if you just want to brighten up your um, under eye. So, and then for the lashes, um, they feel really good. They're easy to apply, I feel like, but for me... I'm not a big lash uh, kind of person, so I do kind of struggle a little bit, but I'll get the hang of it. But these ones are really pretty and not like completely full, but they kind of are. So these ones are the Demi Wispies. And what else? Oh, for the, for the cream contour. Um... Like I said, I'm not a big fan of cream contour. I honestly prefer the powder, but I mean, it's not bad. It, it works just fine. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. you guys enjoyed um so yeah make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed watching this video also subscribe to my channel to get notified whenever i upload a new video and yeah i don't think there's anything else that i want to say until then i'll see you guys soon bye